Hello and welcome to Robot Masters. My name is Nathan and we've got my two friends here, the Roomba S9 and the Roomba i7. Can these two guys tackle a 25 pound bag of Costco rice? Stay tuned and we'll see if they can pick it all up. Uh, yeah, that's all I heard. So I really wanted to see how well these self-emptying bins really work. Also I want to see if these two robots are able to pick up the rice and how much of the rice they can pick up. Also this is a stress test to see how dirty the sensors get and to see if they can continue with dirty sensors and all the debris that they will pick up and throw into the air. So right off the bat the Roomba i7 indicated in blue has detected excessive dirt. It will perform a short back and forth cleaning pattern to pick up the extra dirt. The same thing happens with the Roomba S9. It will light up in blue and perform a short back and forth stripping pattern. As you can see the i7's dirt bin is already full and it's going to go ahead and return back to its self charging emptying base. Same thing with the Roomba S9. Uh, this is why the self-emptying bin is a super nice feature to have and I think it's worth the $300 upcharge. So both the self-emptying bins on the Roomba i7 and Roomba S9 can hold about 30 bins full of dirt. Also, they have interchangeable bags so if you have an i7 and have a bunch of disposable bags you can use that in the S9 as well. One thing to note is the dust bins themselves are not interchangeable. Also, the self-emptying bins are not interchangeable between robots. So you do have to get two separate self-emptying bins if you want the feature on the i7 or the S9. So here's where the magic really happens. These self-emptying bins are phenomenal. They're able to clear out all the rice in both the robots' dust bins. And once the bins are empty, they go out and continue their cleaning job. They can dock and return to the job as many times as necessary until the job is done. So both robots were doing really well. Um, they were around the 8 self-emptying bin marks until one started to have issues. This was due to the bags already being full. Oh, don't mind that chainsaw in the middle of the hallway. That was for a previous video. If you like the Roomba S9 destroying a bag of rice, you can watch that video. It's more of a comedy video. Um, some people liked the video, some didn't. It was very a unique video. It's not for everyone. It's more of just a comedy video. So another issue that started to occur is the S9 started collecting some rice along the base of the self-emptying bin. This prevented the S9 from self-docking. I had to just kind of clear the rice out of the way.
The i7 completed the entire test without any errors. The only thing I had to do with the i7 was empty out the self-emptying bins bag a few times, but the i7 was definitely the winner of this test. So usually the self-emptying bin will light up in red, indicating that the bag is full, but this time around, you can see that the white light is still indicated, but the bag was full, and it was not able to self-empty its bin, um, so I manually emptied out both the bag and the self-emptying bin. So you may notice that the bin itself isn't completely full. The Roomba likes to return to its self-emptying dock around the two-thirds full mark, because it's easier to empty out a partially full bin than a full bin. The Roomba S9 started to have a lot of issues with its sensors being dirty. At one point, the Roomba just stopped cleaning altogether. I was not able to get it to start cleaning again. So I quickly realized that I was running out of containers. I had to get bigger and bigger buckets because they were picking up all the rice, no problem. While it was fun filming this video, it felt like a full-time job constantly checking on the bags to make sure they're not completely full. I was emptying out the bags every 5 or 10 minutes or so. So what do you guys think? Let me know in the comments if you like the Roombas. Um, if you like the self-emptying bin feature, you think it's a waste of money, you think it's a great feature to have. Personally, I think it's a great feature to have. It does pick up a lot of dirt and debris, and it's nice not having to empty out the bins so often. So I continued testing until the very end. The S9 died because of the dirty sensors, but I let the i7 still keep cleaning, and I was impressed how well it was able to pick up the majority of the rice, and it finished its cleaning mode with an edge sweep. Around the hour and a half mark, the Roomba i7 determined that it has finished its job, so it will finish with an edge cleaning sweep. So what do you guys think? How did the i7 do? It was the only robot that finished it. The S9 would have finished, but I didn't want to have to clean out its sensors. I wanted to see how long these robots could go for. So here's the B4 shot. 
and this is the after shot. So there's still some rice down on the floor, but for the most part, I think this little guy did a good job. Just to recap, both the i7 and S9 did a fairly good job picking up the rice. Um, they both did really well returning back to the self-emptying bins to empty out the dustbin and returning back to the jobs. They both can do this as many times as needed until the job is done. Both have dirt detection sensors, so when it detects dirt, they can go over the area a little bit more and clean up the excessive dirt. Also, the S9 had more issues because of the dirty sensors. The i7 also had dirty sensors, but didn't cause it to air out as much. So, what do you guys think? Did you guys enjoy that video? If you like that type of video, please give a great big thumbs up. Also, if you haven't already done so, please subscribe to my channel. It really helps out small YouTube channels and will mean the world to me. Um, you guys be safe out there, and I'll see you guys next time.